beautiful people. So today is Friday. I actually have started having Fridays off. So it's really nice to have an extra day off to just relax and do a lot of stuff. And today, this morning, I actually did all my brushes and makeup sponges. I washed them. I cleansed them. I actually posted a video. So I'll have that linked below. So I have one extra day to spend with you guys. So that's always nice. There's this song. I don't know if you guys know it by Megan Trainer. Um, it's called Me Too. It's like, if I was you, I'd want to be me too I love that song and it has been stuck in my head like crazy for the past like couple days there's actually a video that this fitness marshal has choreographed like a fitness workout routine to this song and ever since I saw that like video of the workout that song has been playing in my head over and over again it's a really good song but like I just can't get it out of my head also another thing that I saw is um, the tonight show with Jimmy Fallon he actually did a lip-syncing battle with Melissa McCarthy oh my gosh that is so funny you guys have to watch it I'll try to find it and link it below in my description box but oh my gosh it is so funny because they both pick their own songs and they just like perform lip-syncing to those songs that they chose and it is just so funny and awesome um, you guys have to watch it I also have to redo my nails because my nails are kind of chipping and I was thinking of doing like a rock marble type design so I might do that in the next few days or over the weekend and if you guys would be interested for me to record that I'm thinking maybe like a white background with like little marbled cracklings as a design so that might be actually pretty cool and lately I've been really into like super natural minimal makeup I don't know if you guys can tell a difference I have a little bit more makeup right now for the camera like more eyeshadow and a small wing on the side but I've been really into like the, my glowy skin and kind of just doing pretty much just concealer in the spots that I need to conceal and then just blush for or a little bit of color and I've been doing that for the past week or so and I've really been enjoying it I feel like this year in general is gonna be all about you know glowy healthy skin and I feel like that's gonna be a huge thing like this year for makeup brands and skincare brands so I've been rocking that a little more and of course the metallic lip oh my gosh every brand is coming out with a metallic lipstick Smashbox just released a bunch then makeup geek released foiled lip gloss Glosses, and I'm not really into the whole like foiled lip look but um, if you're going out over the weekend you know that's sometimes just fun for a little touch of color and I really like the drugstore Milani liquid lipsticks that are foiled and kind of metallic so I've been wearing some but overall I don't know the metallic lip isn't really for me what I have on my lips right now which is actual like what my natural lip color is plus a little darker maybe is this NARS um, lip crayon in the shade Bahama and it is so just really pretty your lips but better type of shade and it's really comfortable the only thing is that these aren't really like scroll outs so you do have to sharpen it so that's the only negative with these but these are so comfortable and really nice on the lips I've been actually taking it everywhere with me and just reapplying during the day so that's been really great I've been into like a lot of nude neutral type of shades of a lip lately so that's been nice speaking of lipsticks and lip colors let's get into the actual video that you guys have been requesting so we're gonna be taking a look at my lipstick collection or mainly liquid lipstick collection because I have a lot of like drugstore lipsticks and lip balms and a little black box under my bed that I don't use as often but all my little like liquid lipsticks and my other lipsticks that I often use, I have them like stored in my desk in like little plastic drawers. So let's get started. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let's get to it. Okay, so this is my little vanity area, you can say. There's also this little shelf on top of this desk right here. And right here on top, I'll show you in just a second, are my color pencil lippy sticks that I absolutely love. And then here on the desk area, there's two sides with six drawers each for all my like liquid lipsticks. So let's get to it. So as I showed you on top, I have a bunch of the lippy sticks from ColourPop. I absolutely love these. These are like my favorite lip product from actual ColourPop. I absolutely love them. They're so creamy, pigmented, and hydrating, and I absolutely love these. 
Now, let's start with this one. Here's just another one of my makeup bags from Sephora that I absolutely adore. So here in the first drawer, I have all of my melted Too Faced lipsticks. These are awesome. Some of my favorite formulas from them. I have almost all the shades. I have some travel sizes. Then right here, I have the two Tarte lip paints from Bunny that she released. So that's the first drawer. So here in the second drawer, I have mainly Makeup Geek. These are their plush mattes. Um, I do really enjoy their formula. Not all the colors are wearable for me because um, some of these neons, that's why they're kind of in the back on the bottom. Um, I don't really use but these right here are some of my favorite shades that I use on a daily. One of my favorite shades from these is the shade Plain Jane. It's like a really nice red. I actually think I have it in my purse, but it's really lovely. And then I also have my um, Seattle London in here. So I really quickly went and grabbed um, the two that were in my purse. So Pin Up and Seattle London, the liquid velvets, is one of my favorite shades. And this Plain Jane in the actual Makeup Geek um, collection is definitely one of my favorites as well. So this is one whole collection. So now the third drawer, this is more of like a random drawer. I have um, a bunch of just random. I have Lipstick Queen, I have Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss, I have um, a lot of samples that came in like the Sephora Favorites. I have another Lipstick Queen, I have some Bare Minerals, some Sephora, I have Laura Mercier's lipstick. Um, just a bunch of ones that kind of came in kits and I had no place to put them because I don't actually have like the whole set. So I just keep all these higher end kind of travel sizes in one drawer. Now the next three drawers, you guys won't be probably surprised, are all ColourPop. So the first drawer is the Ultra Mattes that I have. I absolutely love. Then the second drawer from the bottom, I have all the Ultra Satin finishes. And I wouldn't be even able to tell you guys like my favorite shades because I like so many of them. And then here on the bottom drawer is also ColourPop, but this was like their limited edition with like the black top um, and they had a bunch of like minis released right here and these are all just great. I think most of them are ultra mattes. There's some ultra satin right here and these are just lovely shades and I really like their formula and they're super affordable so you can't really go wrong. And then right here on the table I also have the two ColourPop mini to go collections. Um, I don't know where to place them. They were in the bottom drawer and then that one got filled up so I just kind of keep them I just recently did a video on those so they're just out and about these right here are my awesome little Kala brushes that I absolutely love. These are more for like display than use, but I do use a few of them. Um, and I absolutely love these. Like look at the design and the light, look how reflective the handle is. And they're so soft and gentle. I got these at TJ Maxx when they were on sale and I absolutely love those. Now moving on, this is my right side drawers um, on top right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I just have one of my perfumes, my Victoria's Secret sprays. I have a whole jar of um, Stila lip glosses. I've been collecting these for quite some time. I usually use these in like the spring time just because I don't like lip glosses in the winter time. So I have a whole collection. It's, it's actually pretty dusty. I need to dust them. And in here I have a few different ones and I put a little purple lollipop heart in there just because it's so cute. And then right here, this handsome little one, this is actually a picture of my little brother. He's not so little anymore, he's 20 now, but um, this is my favorite picture of him. He has a Winnie the Pooh sweater, and he's holding a dandelion, and he's just so adorable. I love this picture. So here in the first drawer, I have some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Um, these are the Too Faced Melted. Um, they're not actual like matte. They're more creamy, but I absolutely love the way they smell and the way they actually, you know, perform. And these Dose of Colors is some of my top three favorite liquid lipstick formula. They're really hydrating. They're kind of like elastic-y almost feeling. And I just love their shades. I have a couple more shades in my purse, but I absolutely love these. This one from Melted Chocolate. I just like it. I got it as a sample from one of the collections and I just love the way it tastes and smells. I mean, not that you taste it, but it smells really nice and I absolutely love these Dose of Colors shades. 
Now my second drawer right here is some of my other favorite liquid lipsticks and these are, this is the Kat Von D collection and I've been actually collecting them for a while because I've been, the little travel sizes, they usually come in like a little pack of like two or three or four and so I actually have been collecting these every time the little ones come out. I do have some of the big ones that are in some of my favorite like colors but um, there's so much product that I usually don't go through it so these little ones are just so cute and there's such a variety of colors and then there's also two of these studded lipsticks but I don't really use these. Um, they're really nice shades but I feel like they're more of like a collector's item than, you know, for me to use. But the packaging is super cute because it's like a studded lipstick. Okay, moving on. Now, my third drawer are my favorite liquid lipsticks from the drugstore, which are the Milani ones. I have um, all the metallics on this side. I have all the mattes on this side. I had a few more nude um, from the regular ones, but I think I used them up or they might be somewhere in my purse. I'm not exactly sure. But this is definitely some of my favorite from the drugstore, and I just like their formula. Some people say they might be a little bit drying, and they are slightly on the drier side but I don't really mind it so I just love these. In this fourth drawer I have a few of Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, I have some Kylie's, um, I have the Lorac Pro, I have a Stila, and then two of my Jouets. Um, I am not a huge fan of the Jouets lipsticks um, except a very few shades. Um, I don't like their metallics. The Jouer creams, um, the, the shade Terra is one of my favorite shades. It's so pretty on the lip. Some of their nudes, a few of their nudes are really nice too, but I feel like a lot of the nudes are too light, even for my skin tone. And the metallics are just kind of patchy. And I really like their glossy topper, which is somewhere around here too. But so these are some of my other liquid lipsticks. Now my fifth drawer right here are Lorac lip glosses. This was actually a holiday kit from last winter or this past winter. They were like $25 for this whole kit and I absolutely just love the formula. They're really gorgeous glosses and they and they were pretty affordable. Now for the Revlon mattes, um, these are some of the other mattes from the drugstore that I have used in the past. Not some of my favorites just because the fact that they don't dry down completely, completely matte. Um, so they kind of stay satin, so I feel like they claim to be matte, but they're not really matte, so um, not some of my top, top favorites, but they are really nice and really comfortable on the lip. And then the last drawer right here is more of the Milani regular lipsticks. I have a lot of the shades that I really enjoy, um, a lot of like neutrals, light pinks, there's some berries. I just really like their formula. I feel like my favorite lipstick from the drugstore, like regular stick lipstick, would have to be Maybelline Matte and then Milani. I feel like they're really comfortable. Both of the brands are really nice. They're really consistent. They're really pigmented. And I just absolutely love them. And then I have um, the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian, which is one of my favorites. And then two lipsticks, regular lipsticks from Essence. And then also behind this little frame, I actually have some of my Caudalie products and other products I'm testing out currently. Um, I have this Holiday Birthday Edition Kylie Liquid Lipstick Set. I don't really use this. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of her like liquid lipsticks. I feel like her older formula was a little bit better than her newer one. Um, but this is more of like a collector's item. And then in this bucket, I have just a bunch of um, Wet n Wild lip velvets. And these are so awesome. I love these. They're super affordable, like 2 or $3. And the texture of these is so super light on your lips. Um, this is another definite favorite from my um, drugstore like lip products. And I absolutely love these. They're so like light on your lips, but really creamy and kind of whipped. And they're pigmented, gorgeous colors. Some of my favorites are 
I don't even know what the shade is. I really like the Snood, and I like Hickory Smoked, which is this one. Hickory Smoked is another really great shade. Um, and then I also have some Maybelline Color Blurs. These are really cool because what this is, is um, it's actually like a regular lip pencil, but then on the other side you have like a plasticky rubbery thing where you can smudge the color and it makes a really cool effect so I really like those I have a few of the Revlon um, more sheer lip balm sticks and so that'd be it I also have um, a little collection of my Maybelline mattes but they're on my other like vanity area so I will probably have to either add them later or show them to you guys in another video and I also have a black box it's mainly drugstore and kind of lip balms and whatnot so let me show you okay and here's the black little chest that I told you guys about where I keep all my drugstore lipsticks and other like lip balms and lip glosses so this is what it looks like I usually keep it under my bed just to save some space because I hate clutter and then you open it like this and it kind of has a bunch of little tiny drawers and shelves so if you take a look I have some Maybelline and some CoverGirl lipsticks in here then I have a bunch of, of a variety of different lipsticks in this second little drawer there's a few from soap and glory that I have here I mainly keep a bunch of my like lip glosses so I just have here let me take some of these out I just have some various lip glosses. There's a bunch of them. I'm not going to take them all out because it would take way too much time. But um, here I also have that I really enjoy the Bird's Bees lipsticks. These are really nice. They're really creamy and very moisturizing and they're kind of more sheer. But yet they're really hydrating. So I keep those in here. I also have some other makeup in here, um, I have some more lip balms, then right here I have some EOS's, then in the second drawer right here, let me move the box, I have some of the Revlon balms that I really enjoy, I have a little Venom lip plumper, I have some Bird's Bees, some Pacifica, some baby lips, chapsticks, and then in this first drawer right here, except this next plumping lip gloss, I have my cream shadows. So I have all my Revlon like glitter shadows and cream shadows and shimmer. Then I have the new like creamy shadows in here. And I usually have a separate area and drawer with all my eyeshadows. But I just figured like I place them in here because I ran out of space. So that's it. That's my lip gloss and liquid lipstick collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.